assalamu alaikum uh, in this video i'll try to explain that how you can target good quality journal or how you can write for what we call impact factor journals so uh, for this purpose the starting point should be that you should search for the relevant journal in which you want to publish for that purpose you can search on google the master journal list this uh, list is basically published by uh, Carrywit uh, Analytics and uh, this is recognized globally including uh, Pakistan the journals listed in uh, this general uh, master list is recognized by Higher Education Commission Pakistan as well so in this general master list there are different options so if you're a scientist in from science field you should look for science citation uh, index but in social sciences we look for social sciences citation index so you find different options if you have got the name of the journal uh, but uh, if you're not clear in which journal you want to publish then my suggestion is that you should look for subject category <clears throat> so in social sciences you'll find out starting from anthropology area studies business criminology and demography and education ergonomics ethics so firstly <clears throat> you have to see in which area you are conducting research and try to search the relevant journal from this list so like uh, i do research in uh, human resource management so uh, my preference would be uh, the management sciences so here is the category management and if i look at the journal list it is showing 218 <coughs> journals which are in the category of management sciences so uh, format footprint if you click all the journals uh, they are shown uh, uh, together 218 so these are the journals in management academy of management annals academy of management <laughs> journal academy of management learning and so on so these are the journals which are included in uh, the master list list but necessarily it's not uh, uh, necessary that uh, they have got impact factor for impact factor you have to look uh, for another uh, list which we call the general citation report some people uh, might be confused that what actually is impact factor in fact uh, these journals when they publish articles uh, uh, these articles are cited and impact factor is calculated uh, based on this formula uh, for example uh, if uh, we want to calculate impact factor for 2019 previous two years will be considered that is 2018 and 17 so let's say any general how many articles they published in 2000 <coughs> 18 uh, 2017 and how many times these articles were cited so impact factor basically is a ratio so when you divide uh, the citations with total publication that actually is the impact factor uh, for uh, like the recently jcr uh, it has been published by clarivate analytics and uh, it's not available on the web but uh, if anyone requires i have got its copy you can request for it so either you look <coughs> here or jcr and then decide in which area you want to work even uh, in management we have got specific areas sometimes like uh, uh, maybe uh, you are publishing uh, something which is about uh, uh, the public sector organization so uh, my suggestion is that you should also look for public administration journals because there are public administration journals which publish hr <coughs> related issues or other uh, policy related issues or uh, let's say if uh, you have got some uh, specific sample uh, in uh, some specific uh, uh, domain like nursing if your sample is nursing you can target the nursing journals as well uh, if uh, uh, let's say uh, we have got other uh, areas finance business so firstly you need to look for the relevant journal then you should start uh, working on the paper once you have uh, identified the journal like uh, in management uh, category uh, if we look at different journals <coughs> So 
so recently uh, we published an article in a very good journal which is uh, international journal of human resource management this is uh, uh, igihrm uh, this is uh, the website of the journal so you need to go to website of that journal and uh, this is the article uh, recently uh, which we published uh, in this journal uh, so what process we followed so you can see uh, that it has got a very good impact factor 3.15 also listed in uh, caps academic journal guide as well so here you will find out the aim and scope that's very important firstly to read the aim and scope which type of articles they publish so igihrm focuses on human resource issues about internalization internalization internationalization uh, technology market integration similarly they also look for uh, comparative contributions uh, developed in developing countries uh international uh, data set reviews these are their preferred areas so firstly you need to uh, look at the aims and scope and uh, the research which you are conducting or the paper which you have writ written you uh, will have to see that whether it matches <coughs> with the scope of the journal and once it is decided then you must look for instructions what which type of paper what is the format is very important uh, because uh, if you don't follow the format there are chances that editor will reject your paper because that is the first thing they look so for this journal everything is given about the journal uh, word limit uh, uh, how many uh, words how uh, what is the structure of uh, a table so you can for this journal you can write 7 to 8000 words lengthy articles they don't accept and which type of format they are submitting like uh, most of uh, the management journals they go for APA format. So, if you are following APA format, then uh, you should uh, uh, write to develop your entire article as per APA. This is one sample. So, every information uh, you have to strictly follow, uh, follow this format. You have to give the running head, the title, author's name, university name, then you have how you have to write abstract and how it should be written, it should be centered, uh, introduction what is uh, the format of uh, 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 like citations if you've got two authors uh, how you write it uh, how you use this sign and and if you've got uh, more than uh, uh, two authors uh, three to five or six authors then uh, use at all so strictly you have to follow the formatting the space uh, everything even if you are using tables you have to follow the APA format and then end references these must be as per APA format alphabetical order and this uh, you can find on the web uh, any uh, sample on APA so try to develop your paper as strictly uh, on the APA format so once uh, you um, have seen the instructions and uh, the complete details how to format the paper then you should submit it uh, to relevant journals. So on the, uh, the same uh, journal website, uh, you will uh, find where to submit it. So you, uh, this is about uh, copyright and <clears throat> all uh, these issues. So uh, this is uh, the relevant uh, paper, how you can submit it, the relevant author center. So here you will have to firstly uh, create your account and once your account is created then uh, you can submit it. This screen will appear. Uh, how to upload the paper, you will have to write uh, uh, the type of paper, title, abstract and all th these details and through this uh, process uh, you will be able to submit the article. So main objective of uh, uh, this video is just uh, to give you an idea how to select the relevant journal and how to submit it. In the coming videos, I'll try to explain in detail what impact factor journals look, which topics are important and uh, how uh, to convince the editor that's, or the reviewers that it's a quality work. 
uh, you have addressed a very important area and uh, how to uh, address some specific topics for specific journals uh, which they prefer and uh, they publish it quickly so for that purpose you will have to wait uh, for the next part in which i'll share the details thank you very much